What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Riding with a Trucker. I'd first like to say thanks to our sponsors that help make our website possible by supporting, backing, and believing in us truckers. Just us truckers. I'm speaking, of course, about Eagle Truck Wash with 11 locations nationwide to bring you the best quality service in the industry. Please be sure to stop by whenever you get a chance and help support the guys that help support us. If you haven't already, be sure to stop by the website. Sign up for our free membership at the fastest growing trucking site on the web. The only site for truckers by truckers. JustUsTruckers.com So, if you're ready, jump on up. Fasten your seatbelt, sit down, put your feet up, and let's go riding with a trucker. So, anyway, uh, I've been putting off doing this video for probably five or six months now. I've been getting like 30 or 40 or 50 emails or questions, comments, uh, you know, every, every week or two about trucking schools. How should I go about getting my CDL? Should I go to a school or should I go to one of these big companies that will basically pay me to get my CDL? I get this question three or four times a day. Uh, I don't really have a good answer for you. I have my opinion or sort of my opinion. I mean, it, it kind of goes both ways it just kind of depends on the situation and what you're looking for and what you what you're planning on doing but when I let me take you way back to 1997 when I first got my CDL I went to a school in Northeast Ohio where I where I was from where I lived at the time called TDDS it was a you know it was a great school I loved it I thought it was very very well run uh, I got my CDL, learned everything I needed to know, no problems. And the thing that going to a school did for me, the way I mean, the way I look at it anyway, is I had no no strings attached. In other words, once I graduated school and obtained my CDL, I could go do anything I wanted to do. I could go drive for whoever I wanted to drive for. You know, I could pick the company. I could I could not even drive at all if I wanted to. Uh, however, if you go to one of these, you know, bigger companies that do driver training, the deal is, yeah, they pay you usually, you know, 250 to 400 bucks a week while you're in training. Uh, you'll obtain your CDL, but then the trick is, or the catch is, that you have to drive for that company for a minimum. I, you know, most companies it's a year. Some companies it's two years in order to meet your obligations with your contract for them getting you your CDL. So if you go in there and and don't like the company at all or you get treated really bad, you're stuck because you owe these people. Now you have a contract signed that said that you will either pay for that school, which in most cases it's overpriced if you end up having to pay for it. And uh, you know, you're, you're stuck. You, you've got really no options. You have to you have to stay there or you have to pay for it. And if you decide to leave, you say, okay, I'm, I'll pay you for the school that you provided for me, but I'm not going to work here. I'm going to go work over here at Company B. Well, Company B is probably not going to honor Company A's training and is going to want you to go through their school now. So now you're going to end up with O and Company A and B and still not knowing whether you like trucking at all, being that you have no experience, and if you're going to now like Company B, or if Company B will now treat you with respect in, in the way that you should be treated. So, in my personal opinion, like I said, in 97, I went to a trucking school, and I thought it was a very good deal. When I got back into trucking after being out of trucking for almost 10 years, this was about five or six years ago, Nobody would hire me even though I had like four and a half years experience because I had no recent experience. So I decided, like some of you guys, I'm going to go sign up with one of these big companies, do a refresher course so that it doesn't cost me anything. And not only that, I'll have a job with a company. 
uh, you know, to at least get my recent experience, even if I decide not to stay there. Uh, well, I went to a company. Well, so what is, you know, if, if you watch my videos, you know who I'm talking about. I won't name names right now. Uh, but I went to a big, big company and got screwed, basically. I got treated very bad. I, they ended up not hiring me after I went through their little refresher course school, after I went through their orientation, and after I went and, and, you know, the day they were supposed to hire me, after everything was done, the recruiting, the, the orientation, the school, everything was done, they decided they weren't going to hire me because I had two speeding tickets on my record within the last 24 months, all right? Both of those speeding tickets were there six months before I talked to the recruiter the first time. I told the recruiter. I listed both of them on my application. We discussed them in orientation, and everything was okay and fine and dandy until it was time to hire me, and then they decided they were not going to do that. They also thought, thought they were going to charge me for the schooling that they provided me until I played a couple video and audio tapes for them, they decided it was in their best interest to not charge me. Now, if I hadn't done that, I would have been in a very bad position of owing these people money with no proof or no way of getting out of it, basically. So my what it boils down to is if, if you're going to go through it with a company, you need to investigate as much as you can about that company and find out in depth the details about how that company talked to 30 or 40 drivers, hopefully 10 or 20 of people that have gone to that company and went through their school and find out how their experience was. If you find more than three or four people that were a bad experience, don't go there. All right? That's what I'm telling you. Uh, there are probably two or three companies that I would recommend going to if you were going to go to a school through a company. And if you want to know about them, you could just leave me a comment here in, in the comment section of this video, and I'll be happy to, to uh, throw some names at you. But, yeah, that's my opinion. If you can, go to a school. A lot of times you can get a grant, and you won't end up having to pay for the whole thing there anyway because it is quite expensive. Uh, don't get me wrong, but like I said, there's no strings attached. I hope that helps you guys. I hope you're all out there having a very good day. Be safe. That is the most important thing. Be safe, and I will see you. Bye.